I mean, I mean, I'm not going anywhere. Besides, I'm kind of enjoying this preview of us 50 years down the road. <laughs> I think we'll still be together in 50 years. If I have anything to say with it, we're going to be together in 100 years. Mm. I love you so much. And I love you. Ethan is never going to believe that Teresa didn't send the email of him and Sam Bennett to the tabloid. Would you give the guy a break? He'd never believe that. As bad as things look right now, I still got faith that they'll be able to work things out if she just comes clean with him. Before you say anything else, please, I mean, just well, try to explain how... You don't have to. Oh, but you I don't do have to mean... You explain anything. You think the worst No, of... I don't. Look, I understand why your mother did what she did. What did you say? No. Teresa, I know why your mother didn't tell me I was Sam Bennett's son. I won't say I'm not disappointed. But she felt her first loyalty was to my mother. She didn't want to betray her confidence. Mama. Well, that's who you meant, isn't it? She's the one who knew mother's secret beforehand and didn't tell me? Yes. Why are you looking at me like that, Teresa? Is there someone else who knew? Because if so, I have a right to know. Come on, Teresa. Just tell him. This is your chance. Father, help me! What's the matter, Father? Fresh out of holy water? <laughs> Apparently not. I seem to have one more. No! Run, K. Run, get to Miguel and the others. No! 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 Pick him up! Help me! Help me take the cow! Give me that! Never! Give me that! Kay's coming to see him. Quick, hide! Went crazy and tried to choke me and tell him he made a mistake. Tell him he's got to stop. I'm not sure I can. Be. No, you have to because I'm afraid he's going to kill Father Lonigan. I'm afraid you're confusing me with someone who gives a damn. I don't understand. What are you doing to my Miguel and my sister and the others and everybody in the basement? I, I hear him crying for help. Would you like to see for yourself? Come. Take a good long look because it's the last time you'll ever see them. Oh my God. Miguel! Why are you trying to kill Miguel? You told me that I could have him after I got my soul back. And you actually believed me. <laughs> Tell me something. Yes. Yes, you are the most beautiful woman that I've ever laid eyes upon. <laughs> Not that. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no, how did... Someone like me, get lucky enough to not only meet someone like you, but to recognize that he was the most perfect man for me. It's not like I have the greatest track record of picking men. No, there's an understatement. <laughs> exactly. I mean, how did Sheridan Crane, the girl most likely to end up jaded, bitter, and alone, finally stop sabotaging herself and learn to recognize true love when she saw it? Well, maybe because a certain stubborn Irish Latino cop wouldn't get lost when she told him to. <laughs> All I know is I almost lost you a number of times because I was too pig-headed to see what was in front of me. Well, all I know is that now we've found each other and you're not getting rid of me. <laughs> you know, the most amazing part of all this is that I believe you. I, I really believe that you love me and that you're not going anywhere. It's because I'm not hot lips. Hot lips? Sizzling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, 
I better go get that wood. I'm gonna make us a fire that's gonna last in the morning. While he's gone, I'm going to start something that I hope will last till morning. You wouldn't keep it from me, would you? I mean, you'd tell me if you knew who tipped off the newspaper about me not being Julian Crane's son. Ethan, I have no idea who did that, I swear. No, I didn't think so. I mean, if you knew something so important, you'd tell me. But before I was, I was talking with Chad, we were gonna make a list of all the people who, who we might have thought had access to the letter except for Pilar and my mother. Pen doesn't work. Let me see if I can find something else to write with. Teresa, why don't you tell him? He's gonna find out anyway. Oh, Chad, I wanted to, but I, but I couldn't. I mean, you saw him said he was about Mama not telling him. Imagine what he would think of me. But at least he would know you'd be straight with him, you know? And you're not the bad guy who blew him out of water with the press. I mean, I know you never use that information to hurt Ethan. Not like Ethan is gonna believe that if he finds out I've been lying to him. Chad, I can't tell him, and I am begging you, don't you tell him either. Teresa, I told you where I stand on that. I know. You're his friend, and I respect that, but it will destroy our relationship if you give me away. Uh, all right, uh, we know Pilar didn't send the letter to the chapel. So we need to figure out who else knew who my real father was and kept it from me. Paying attention the first time, Reese, Simone, Jessica, oh yes, and lover boy Miguel are as good as dead, and there's nothing you can do about it. No! Damn. She's back. Oh, what are you looking at? Oh, crumbs, look who's here. God's little party pooper. She always shows up to spoil our jolly times. She kind of likes a little angel girl. You like anything with blonde hair? I warned you, Kay. You must tell Miguel the whole truth. It's your only hope. Blah, 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 blah. You sound like a broken record. Can't anyone around here read the handwriting on the shrinking wall? What is the sense of Kay telling Miguel anything when he's about to be dead? No, Miguel can't die. Please don't let him die. That's a nice fire going on in here. Just a minute. Now that could be one of the best fires I've ever seen. If I do say so myself. It's completely terrible.